When investigating having a new website built, many people focus on the number of pages on the site to determine the cost. I'll talk about the typical cost of a five page website in this video, but first let's define what a five page website actually is. It sounds simple, but the concept actually confuses some people. When I hear that a new website prospect wants a website and they think it's gonna be around five pages or less, it tells me that they're in need of a very simple informational website with some very typical pages like home, about, services, contact, testimonials, and frequently asked questions. I'm not gonna describe these pages in detail here, but if you wanna see my other video on the top seven typical pages on small business websites, check out that video or my blog post linked below. These basic pages are usually enough for a small business to have a presence online, have some control over their reputation, and present basic information about their business. So this would be in contrast to larger companies and websites that need dynamic content, hundreds or thousands of pages, and more complex elements like e-commerce or member login. If you're looking for a simple five-page website and you want an attractive design that is user-friendly for your visitors, you may wanna check out my complete website package. It's an efficient option for business owners who want a basic informational website, but don't want to spend a lot of money or do any of the actual design work to create the website themselves. Even though narrowing down the scope of a website to a number of pages is a good starting point, it's even more critical to guarantee you're answering all the relevant questions that your website visitors will inevitably have. To brainstorm these questions, I like to break it down into who, what, why, when, where, and how. And I covered these in another video on website content that I'll also link to below. For now though, to round out this video, let's talk about the expected cost of a five page website. And I'll show you some quick examples of five page websites I've built. So five page websites will usually cost anywhere from 500 to $2,000. It could be less if you find a relative, friend, or cheap overseas web designer to build your site, and it could cost you more than $1,000 if you pay for things you may not need or if you just fall prey to an expensive design agency. If I search some different providers in the US, I can easily find prices from $500 to $1,000. My prices may change in the future, but I'm currently creating sites of up to six pages for $790. So let me show you three quick examples of five page websites so you can get a visual idea. So the first site I wanna show you is a lawyer website. You can see they have one, two, three, four, five pages um, at the top. It's not always about the exact number of pages, but the idea that it's just a small informational website, but these three I'm gonna show you do actually have five pages. So the first page is home and we got you know basic information with links to some other pages and contact info at the bottom. Most sites, even five page websites, are gonna have some kind of about page. On this website, it's actually called People, and it just shows uh, the attorneys that are part of this practice. Then we have services, which shows their, um, you know, their expertise and practice areas. Pro Bono is a, you know, a more unique page. It just talks about some of the um, services they offer pro bono. And then contact page is probably gonna be on most websites with your basic contact info. And here's a home builder site that again has a home page with some links to other elements on the site in about page, which again is typical. They have a page that highlights some of their projects that are in progress or completed. And then for a business like this, it would be customary to have like project galleries showing some of the projects they created visually. And then a contact page. And then the last site I'll show you is a speech and language therapy service. So if we go to their homepage, we show some basic information and link to some of the other pages, like the about page, where we actually used to have the team members, but this uh, section is currently being uh, updated, so I'm not displaying it. They have services pages broken down into children and adults. And then they also have a contact page like the others. Hopefully that helps you understand what a typical five page website might look like. Again, if you're looking for someone to build and host your website for you, make sure to check out my service in the links below.